This is like the, the this little mission. Well, it's not little, but this mission is by far like better than the vast majority of not all of the Thieves Guild missions in Skyrim. Man, this is so cool. Oh, I can't wait for the Elder Scrolls Six. Oh God! All right, let's talk to the main. Hey there, Chief Engineer. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Is it? Wait a second. You're Captain Rolkov's guest, right? Right. I expect to see you down here. How you doing? Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? I didn't do a persuasion check. I mean, I'm gonna save. I can't save. Well, there's no persuasion yet. Kind of lonely down here, isn't it? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that. But I'd rather work on the bridge. Okay. So what do you do around here? I'm the Siren's chief engineer. Trident put me in charge of the entire tech team. We do our best to keep the ship running smoothly and efficiently. Nice. Of course, this beauty is a cutting-edge piece of spacecraft design. Almost everything has triple redundancy, like the life support system. Unfortunately, that means there's quite a bit of downtime. Could be worse, though, right? Can you bring, like, a Steam Deck or something down here, play some games? Well, I really uh, need to get into the life support area, my man. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. I think he's supposed to be, like, Swedish or Finnish or something. All right, space scoundrel, you have a gambling debt. I strongly suggest you agree to, uh, to favors for the person that you owe. Hmm. Rokov said he's willing to forgive your gambling debt. I'm the captain's guest, but you can't let me into that room. No, sorry. I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without the valid reason. Look, I'm not trying to be a jerk here. It's just that I could lose my job, you know? He seems like a nice guy. Ah, uh, but I am a space scoundrel. You have a gambling debt. I strongly suggest you agree to favors for the person that you owe. All right, all right. No need to get pushy about it. <laughs> pushy? <sighs> Captain Rokov sure picked some weird friends. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Okay, give me an ID. Um, don't care. So what's your role? Don't care. Remember not to touch anything, please. Okay. Okay. Get a move on. I'm in. Life support access, emergency procedures, lockdown procedures. Uh. Okay, gain entry. For safety reasons, life support access cannot be sealed without approval from chief engineer. Boom! Guess I gotta interact with each one of these. What else is in here? Steak and water. All right, let's do this. Let's start with this one. Activate. I feel like I'm turning it off. Yeah. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. And remain there until you receive further instructions. All right. I love it when a player works out. So everyone should be evacuated now, right? Can't move. It's so empty. I can have the run of the place. <laughs> Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. Yeah, she's uh, definitely an introvert. Are these doors always here? What is this? Oh, wash closet. I didn't go into the bathroom. Connected by one, two doors? Yeah, I know. I'm like, let me look at the bathroom when <laughs> there's an emergency lockdown. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can I flash it? No. Yeah. Alright. Let's go talk to Mr. Vera, Senor Vera. Yeah, I pillaged his room, didn't I? So no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction. I so I feel so much safer with Our you guys here. Team would appreciate if you please shelter in your cabin during the There he is. His stuff is gone. Did you notice? That explains the weapons. Hey Vera. Can I 
Talk to him. I have to talk to him from the side of the table. Oh, get up, fool. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. What you gonna do about it, pal? It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Why does his voice sound familiar? I bet he did a lot of games. Crimson Fleet, Dabrowski is something that the Crimson Fleet wants. May I have you see your death? attention, please? The captain has declared a shipwide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Now that I'm not interrupted, um, I could go with the uh, Crimson Fleet or UC Def. Let's go with UC Def, uh, um, System Def option. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? So you have evidence. Claudia says you've been cheated out of your fair share of the Cal Calbank job by Dabronsky. That's a good option. Attack! Dabronsky has been playing you and Claudia this entire time. You already have the evidence prepared? Don't act so surprised. You didn't really think I'd make a deal with Claudia or Dombrowski without having a little insurance policy of my own, did you? Huh? If I've learned anything in my years at the corporate fraud division, it's always have an exit strategy. He would fit in well with the pirates, I think. All right, well, Claudia says you've been cheated out of your fair share. Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it. <laughs> That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. I have nothing against you, man. I'll pay you to offset your losses. Before I make any deals, you mind telling me what I'm buying? Yeah. Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. It was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Cool. All right. Um, I guess I could pay him. Uh, because he has no technical knowledge in the systems and stuff, obviously. This is why. Um, I'd rather pay him than attack him. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You got it, dude. Hey, ever thought of joining the Crimson Fleet? Wait a moment. Are you telling me that this scheme is getting so out of hand, it also involves <laughs> the Crimson Fleet? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's all I need right now. Enemies on two fronts. Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing yeah, down? Yeah, that's true. No. You can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates. <laughs> merry little band Thank of pirates. Thank you very much. I like that. Merry little band of pirates. Do you know anything about UC defense? System defense? I wasn't lying when I said I didn't know anything about your undercover work, if that's what you're trying to imply. All I can tell you is that there's more than a few people at Mast who find Commander Akande to be a huge pain in the ass. I mean, the UC is aware that the Crimson Fleet is a problem, but it pales in comparison to the issues with the Free Star Collective. That sounds cool, Free Star Collective. Akande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly, it's driving my superiors crazy. Okay, so what are you going to do about Swiss and Dombrowski? Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. <laughs> I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. The Epstein option. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him. Let's go. Okay, so he's going to be in his room, which means he's going to have stuff to steal. I ran into her room. My mistake. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency state.
And we're going this way. How did I not go into his room? Maybe I did. Open sesame. Yeah, I did come to his room. Hello there, Dobronsky. Pal. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. The one and only. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. I don't think he has anything to negotiate for him to get out. There isn't going to be any negotiation. Wait a minute, how did you know I was involved? You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation. I just entered the situation though. I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web. But this situation demands swift and resolute action. Okay. Let's negotiate. Excellent. Excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. Just want to see what he offers. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor. Hmm? He is very informed. Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Yeah, that's an amazing trick, Professor. Hang on, I need to get at the source. I haven't entirely ruled out the bullet option yet. Is it really necessary for you to talk that way? Yeah, let's go with the bullet option. I see. That certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. You got it. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Yes. Will there be much more of this? My head is starting <laughs> to hurt. All right, that's all I want. I'm surprised you figured that out. You don't mind turning over your credentials to me? How do I know you won't report? Whatever. That's all I want. May I have your attention, Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. He speaks very slowly. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. That's mission accomplished, right? We did everything? All right, return to uh, Rokov. All right, this was a cool mission. He's down there. How do I get down there? This way. So red makes me take a cyberpunk. Where'd he go? He's over here. Well, looks like everything worked out just like we planned. All right, I couldn't have done this without your help. Yeah, I couldn't have. Well, I couldn't have gotten the, the trophy. I'm the one that took all the risks. I got what I wanted. Let's just go with this. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched into hell. Sure, man. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Hell no. No way. We're hunting. No. I want to tell you about Delgado, but no. You mean you haven't figured it out on your own? Seems like we're being led to tell him in the end. I want to tell you, but Degado will kill me. I'm not scared of Degado. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <sighs> of course, of course. I understand completely. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining. May I have your attention, please? It's been a long time. The captain has declared a ship on emergency. Over reach. Please report to your captain. Don't worry about it. You're damn right you do. What'd you call me? Tovarich? Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used yeah, to it. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna see him on station. Alright, don't worry about it, man. Nonsense. 
If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Yeah, man. All right. Proceed to New Atlantis. New Atlantis? Okay, let's go to New Atlantis. I thought we'd be going to the key. All passengers are being I guess we're going to talk to what's his name. I keep forgetting his name, the UC Def guy. Yeah, and I searched this ship over. Curiosity was piqued, accomplished a mission. It's been a good day. Wait a minute. No, I've been in there. I looked at the suits. Or did I? I better double check. Yeah, I looked at the suits. Wait a minute, I have contraband on me. You know what? I'm going to allow myself to be captured. To be detected. I want to see what happens. Okay, we're going to get caught. Because I didn't put it in my storage hold. Let's see what happens. Chance to evade scan, 0%. Uh-oh. They want to talk to me. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. Okay. Pay the credits. Uh, stolen items confiscated. I'll pay the fine. Don't worry, I'll go quietly. Yeah, let's go quietly. Good. We don't need any more trouble today. You've got something for me? Do I have to break out of jail? That'd be cool. I'm gonna try breaking out of jail. Um. Okay. How much money did I lose? I lost some ammo and stuff. I don't care. It's over here. Stolen items locker. What? And they just leave me here alone with it? Can I steal back what they just took from me? That would be awesome if I could. Well, let's see if I can steal my stuff back. Is this all the stuff? I yeah, this is all the stuff I stole, so... Yeah, just let yourself get caught and steal your stuff back. And now I have contraband on planet side. I can sell it, do whatever I want. This is awesome. <laughs> cool. Hey guys, have a nice day. Sorry for the trouble. New Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security, does it not? <laughs> she totally gets me. That's so awesome. All right, let's go. Wait a minute, let's look at what the next step is. I just noticed something. I didn't see the mission objectives or anything. Now that I've landed in New Atlantis, I should proceed to the Galbank archives, locate any data on the Galbank transport legacy. I thought I was reporting back to someone. Okay, so we're gonna find out where the legacy is, cool. Which district is that in? Commercial district, that makes sense. Watch out, Andresia. Can I fast travel to it? What the hell? That's weird. Huh. I guess I gotta actually walk there. News report shows that the Mantis was sighted <laughs> during a gala. <laughs> cool, we're going to Galbank. So maybe Andresia would doesn't care if I do illegal stuff since she was like a smuggler and stuff. That's cool. Hello, citizens. Is there Galbank stuff here? I could steal from this? The lives of nearly every individual in the settled systems are so heavily detected. Let's jump in. Let's go inside. Oh, there is no inside. Let's try this one, maybe. No, I can't go inside. Can I sneak here? I'm detected. Still detected. Hidden! Let's do it. Can I get like free money? Pretty easy for an ATM. Yeah, free money. Shame we cannot just break it open. Damn, she doesn't care. She's glad that I stole it. That's cool. That's a good way to work up your lockpicking if you need it. Spike feels me. 
Spite and fear. She has a name. Hey. Hey yourself. I don't know really how to respond to that. I'm Boda. Nice to meet you. Sure. She seems down about something. Anything I could do for you? Yeah. Find a gal bank teller and deposit all your cards into my bank account. Oh, she's low on money. It'll be paid, of course. Eventually. What are you doing here? Trying to get a job at Gal Bank. It's the big building with the word Gal Bank on it. That was a little rude. Yeah, I can read. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. I'm sorry you feel that way. Anyway, yeah. I'd like to be a banker. It'll be fun. It'll be fun? Anything I could do for you? No. Why do you want to work here? Because magic isn't real. Which means I can't be a necromancer. Aw, oh, yeah, I know the feeling. I figured being a soul-sucking banker was the next best thing. Oh, she's dark. I like her. Can you tell me more about yourself? Why? I don't know. Because I hate myself. <laughs> it's just what people do. You should try sometime. Because I hate myself. Huh. Guess we have that in common. <laughs> Who is All this? Right. I like to paint. I like to crochet. Pretty much hate everything else. You're starting to grow on me, though. Like a fungus. I like mushrooms. Guess that's the third thing. She's so goth. Is that it? There's nothing else here? Not a quest or nothing? See ya. I guess not. I wonder if we'll meet her later. Do I get to do more espionage type stuff? Gotta talk to that guy. What's over here? Another elevator. Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a metal detector. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Sure. My name's Larry. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Yeah, that's me. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. I appreciate that. You're acting a bit strange. He is. Me? No. Look. This is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Yeah, he has a southern accent. Go. Have a wonderful day. You too there, soldier. Open. So this is the archives. Is there any things I could take in the archives? Next. I heard something. Oh no! I get to use my gun. This goes down. I want to go up. I'm up. Let's kill this fool. Where'd he go? There's one over here. They're repositioning. Whoa, this guy's level high level. Hey, I could track him? Grenade! Oh, you're you in trouble? Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? It's gonna give me good experience, these guys. Ecliptic agent. He's down! He's dead. I killed him. Oh, he's got something. A weird looking space helmet. Incoming, whatever. What's my... My mass? 129, okay. Take your credits, leave your Grendel. Always worth checking. Never know Two guys over here. In their pockets. Where'd they go? I almost went down. Music ah, oh. He was chasing her. You have made a grave mistake. Oh yeah. Recover information regarding, okay. All right, we're going back. She killed someone, cool, good job. Good job, Andrea. They just have Grendels. They don't have nothing good. Now, where was I? <laughs> was there stuff to steal? <laughs> Another one! Damn, she did a good job. Yeah, that weapon's working out for her. I'm glad. I like that she was retreating. That was pretty cool. Right, let's go back upstairs. Alright, what we need is over here. Wait a minute, computers. Anyone for a water cooler talk? I didn't find any magazines on um, that cruise ship. I wonder if I missed one. Okay. 
Open sesame. Lost ship registry. Serp serendipity? There's more ships lost? Can I like find these ships? Four attempts failed. Cargo credits. They lost a lot of ships. Alpha Centauri Jemison. Attended arrival. Classified. Meh. Okay, legacy. Classified, classified. Last known system, prox position, bon Banak. Banak. All right, we got what we want. And this isn't unlocking anything else, I don't think. Transport information. All gown bike transferred are fitted with this encrypted stuff. Broadcast speeds, spreads, transponders. Accessing archives, you have by consent. Okay, let's go. Did I get what I needed? I think I did. I keep missing the um, quest updates. Proceed to the key, let's go! Talk to Delgado! I'm being scanned again. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt let's just jump! Just run! All illegal and stolen I forgot I had it on me. Transmission terminated. Do I have a bounty? I could clear my bounty at the bounty board at the... Uh, here if I did. <laughs> this is so much fun. All right, let's sell my contraband and see if I can get that uh, contraband sensor. If Jasmine's around. All right then. I guess that's befitting more of her. Yeah, I changed her outfit. All right. Okay, so we got to go up there, but I'm gonna sell and see if I can talk to Jasmine. There she is. You want to stay under the radar. All business and no. I bet you would. So let's see if you can find that sensor and then where I could put it. Okay, it's under equipment. So we have three sensors here. This is Starship Design, rank one and two. I can only buy this one. What does it do? A scan jammer that increases your chance of evasion during a ship scan by 10%. So, I, yeah, okay. Now, where can I put it? I guess I could put it right there. Yeah, can I change the color of this thing? Nah, so it just stays white. That's fine, that's cool. Alright, so our uh, smuggling can be a little bit better now. That's cool. Thanks, Jazz. Now let's sell my contraband. Alright, so the mod did kick in. She has 45,000 credits. That's very cool. So, using uh, Star UI, I should be able to just find my contraband by clicking this and all my stolen stuff. Cool. All right, so there's my contraband. So I have five of these things. Let's sell all of it. Sell all of these. Nice. Yeah, and you could sort it so all the stolen stuff shows up at the top. Man, Star UI is awesome. All right, face. See nice. I so the mod seems to be working as intended. That's cool. Need something? Now let's go Bob's talk to Monsieur Degato. Give me an Erdebrown logo. All right, here we are. This should make this guy happy, I guess. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. All right. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. <laughs> Rokoff's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to get the trophy. It made me do everything. All right, here we go. Yeah. That be a first? All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Oh, yes. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Here you go. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Back Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. <laughs> and I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. There's got to be a way, so we hit dead end. I'm willing to give it a shot. EM class glass gas giant. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. Oh, no. 
EM class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts. Oh. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah. Well, there's got to be a way, Neva. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick. That just right? might work. Both of you shut up and think for a second. <laughs> I'm sure Greeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. Maybe he didn't. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. I mean, if he got it, then there'd be nothing to get. So, I don't know. Crix wouldn't have given up. Nah, he wouldn't have. I agree with Neva. No. Well, he wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? If we can, they could. That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption constantly reshuffling frequencies we don't have shit like that laying around but but before you get that pissy look on your face i heard that the uc has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike perfect we grab that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want all right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. <laughs> Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Jasmine. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. All right, we'll figure this out. We'll do the best. Oh, great. Stick me with Neva. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. <laughs> you know, damn picnic to work with either. So deal with it. Rook. Me. All right. That is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Let's go. Walk faster, Neva. Come on. You know, walk way slower than her. That's so annoying. She's vibrating. All right, let's speak with Neva. After she gets into position, looking tough and all that. Ship services? You need it? I've got it. All right. Let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? I got it. Give it to her lie, I couldn't find it. What's Jazz doing here? First of all, this is my section of the key, so I'm going to stand here for as long as I want. And second of all, I know all about that award and your deal with Neva. We don't keep secrets between us. Just throttle down and give her the damn thing already so we can get to work. Why do I have the feeling you're going to make more money off this than I am? Whatever, here. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. I needed his help, man. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. Oh, we can't have that, Kevin. Right, Fleet? We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. 3,000. Meh. 96 more. Anything ship related, cool. you're at the right place. Report mission progress on the UC whatever. Okay. All right, comrade, I'm going to end up still there. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Boat is so sleepy. That was such an ordeal, but we did it. But yeah, thank you for coming around, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. Have a lovely day. I love it. And I'll see you in the next episode.